Oh goodness, I don't think this is how it went. We all win in the end. My book's too big. Oh no. <laughs> Help. What's up guys, I'm Yami and I'm here to try some girly life hacks to see if they actually work. It's been a while since I last made a video like this. The last one I did was pranking my husband with the help of Troom Troom. I feel really bad about this. Eh, oh well. So instead of pranks, this time I'm going to be watching 123 Goes 8 Brilliant Clothes Hacks for Girls. Cool DIY ideas. Now, myself and DIYs do not go hand in hand. The last time that I tried to do anything DIY, I tried to hang something on the wall, it fell off, and it smashed the TV. So yeah. I kind of suck at DIYs. So this is going to be a true test of my skills, which I do not have any. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. Okay, let's give this a watch and see if I can remake them. Headsets. On. Nothing is worse than waiting too long to catch up with one of your best friends, except embarrassing yourself with sweaty yellow pit stains. Whose sweat is yellow? I don't think that's normal. I think that might be a medical issue. You should probably go get that checked out. Take a regular shawl or pashmina and put it over your head. With both hands, pull both corners under your arms and in front of your chest. Tie them together in a knot like so. This looks easy, I can do this. Now here's the fun part. Take this knot and slide it over your head. Wow. Check it out. You've got a new funky vest to hide those unsightly pit stains. Wow, look at that. She's made a new item of clothing out of a pashmina. Fashion icon. Very excited to try this one out. I don't know how she did the knots. It looked kind of crazy, but let's go see if I can do it. I actually had to buy one of these because I didn't already own one. So let's try and make this into a beautiful cardigan. This looks pretty simple to do. Oh. It is so long, so she puts it over her head, like, <laughs> like this. Am I doing this right? This feels weird. I feel like a grandma. Okay, and then she gets both of these corners and puts it under her arms like this. She gets these two, and then she ties the ends. It is falling off the back of my head right now. All right, she, she ties the two ends together, and then she lifts this bit over her head like this. Oh goodness, I don't think this is how it went. I'm guessing this goes back like that. And then I have the most fashionable piece of clothing in the world. You know what, I don't hate it, kind of looks cool. Don't know when you'd ever wear this though. So it looks cool from the front, but then the back is just, the, what is this? <laughs> have, have I done this right? On the video, her back is not all exposed. Maybe my arms go through these holes here, like this. Oh, oh, I think I fixed it. Oh, no. Can't be this hard, right? I'm gonna watch it again. Have I done it? This is so strange. I think I did it this time. Oh, yes. Fashion icon of the year. I really don't know what's happening over here. This is the bit that I tied, but if you just ignore that, it looks great. This hack was a little bit of a weird one, but you know what, it works, so it is what it is. Ever go from Netflix and chill to Netflix and clothing malfunction? Oh gosh, that girl sat down and her pants ripped open, exposing her lovely underwear there. What is she going to do? Just take a pair of scissors and a pinch of creativity. Right, what's she gonna do? It feels good being helpful, doesn't it? Place the torn pair of pants on a table in front of you. Okay. Hold them in half so one leg is on top of the other. Seems easy. Find the corner sticking out. That's the crotch of the pants that needs mending. Oh, By goodness. By making this rip even bigger, you can now place your entire head through it. Now put your arms through what used to be the pant legs. They're now sleeves. What? You're telling me she made her pants into a t-shirt. But that still hasn't fixed the issue of having no pants now. I thought she was going to repair them, not turn them into a different piece of clothing. Wow, they actually fit pretty nicely. And there you have it. 
A cute new crop top you can wear to work out in. I don't hate that one, but I just don't know if it's actually going to work. It's a good job I have a bunch of old leggings around that I'm not gonna use anymore, so let's go test it out. These leggings are perfectly fine, but in the name of science, I'm going to destroy them. So let's locate the crotch and we're going to snip into it. I feel bad about doing this because I kind of liked these leggings. Now they are ruined. But it's going to make a beautiful t-shirt, so we all win in the end. There we go. I snipped down the middle of the legs and now I'm going to wear it as a top and I'll see what that looks like. Was this worth cutting up a perfectly good pair of leggings? I actually don't hate it. It looks all right. Ignore the terribly cut lines. We're turned into an okay t-shirt. Just my really baggy arms. I guess if you have a pair of leggings that are completely destroyed, you could use it as a shirt. But I also imagine that, you know, you just throw them away or repurpose the material. I don't hate it though. I think it works. It's just I would probably never use this if my leggings were to break in the future. You've been looking forward to this party for weeks. Oh, hey girl. Uh oh, same Wait outfit. She stole my look. <sighs> Did you see how furious she was that somebody else had the same skirt? Honestly, if I bumped into somebody else at the same party and we were wearing the same outfit, I would think that was pretty cool. I'd be like, hey, we're twins. Lucky for you, you have a creative mind to back you up. Okay. Slide that skirt up over your chest. Snag a belt, thin or thick, and cinch it to accentuate your waistline. Top it off with a cute denim jacket and voila! You've got an adorable party dress that no one else will have. Go on, give us a twirl. You know you want to. Not gonna lie, I don't hate that. I think it looks pretty good. This next one seems super easy to do. Basically, all you needed was a skirt, which I have here. I don't know when I'm ever gonna bump into somebody wearing the same skirt as me. Seems like a ridiculous scenario, but okay. Let's put this on. Gorgeous, long, living for it. And then all she does is she puts it up here. This looks insane. Who is wearing a skirt this high? And we grab a belt, put this around my waist, tighten it, and we've got ourselves a dress. Actually, I don't hate this, it's kind of cute. The final step is she put on a denim jacket, but I don't own a denim jacket, so I have this fur one, fake fur of course. And then the look shall be completed. Ah yes, ready for the party. What a look. I don't think I'll ever use this hack in real life, but nonetheless, thank you, one, two, three, go. We appreciate it. Never wake up like this. Oversleeping is the worst. I cannot say that I have ever woken up to somebody jumping on my bed, shaking me, holding an alarm clock. And if that did ever happen, I would be terrified. Will you have time to get ready? Time to turn those PJs into a look. Slip the pants off and put both legs into one side. Wait a second. She's using the clothes that she slept in to make into a dress. There's just so many things wrong with that. Now pull them up over your chest. Take the unused pant leg, scrunch it up, and slide your head through. Oh my goodness. Whoa, super stylish for PJs, that's for sure. I'm kind of worried about trying this one out. I don't know if I can fit both of my legs through one leg hole. Do I own any pants that are stretchy enough? Add a cute pair of heels and a bag and you're all set. And the best dressed award goes to... If anyone was to find out you were wearing pajamas from last night and you'd fashioned them into a dress, I think people would be kind of grossed out by that. Very strange one, but I think it's achievable. I don't know if this next one is going to work because I can't find pants that are stretchy enough. But I have these delightful Mario ones, so we're going to try. Okay, let's give this a go, but I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to fit in one leg. My butt's too big. All right, we're going in. Both legs into this leg. We're gonna make a beautiful dress. Oh goodness, oh no. Oh, oh this is tight. <laughs> not bad, not bad, look at that. I'm exhausted. Who knew this would be so hard to do? Somebody help me. All right, I have to somehow put my head through this. I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh. Okay, Ooh. my head is going through. Oh no, I can't see. I'm blind. What 
am I doing with my life? And now I have a nice Mario dress. Take a look at this, guys. <laughs> Just like ignore the fact I'm wearing a t-shirt because if I wasn't, you'd probably get the fright of your life, but how we thinking it's looking, guys? Could I wear this out? No, but do I look like a fashion icon? Yeah, sis. Look at her go. <laughs> at work, it's easy to get in the zone. You totally forgot about happy hour with the girls. Don't stress, take the straps off your cotton undershirt and slide them over your head to either side, like so. That looks incredibly tight and painful. Do you see the way her skin is being pulled by the straps? I don't know if I wanna try this one out. It doesn't look like it's very comfortable. Who knew going from daytime to nighttime could be so effortlessly chic? And it can be your little secret. Is anyone else confused at why she didn't just wear the vest as it was? I don't think any of her friends are gonna judge her for not having the time to change out of her clothes. But okay, I'm willing to try it and see if it looks good or if it's painful. For this next one, she's wearing a vest like this. Ignore like all of the straps I have, but she's wearing this, she's wearing a vest and she takes the strap and like, crosses them, so I'm, I'm gonna try and do that. It looked painful, so I'm, I'm kind of dreading it. She puts it over her neck. I'm going to choke myself out doing this. I can't even fit through. What if I make the strap bigger? <coughs> Help. Ugh. Right, okay, that's, that's what has happened. What has happened to my shirt? What has happened to the vest? All right, there we go. Apparently this, this is a whole new vest that I have created for my what is this? In what world is is this a good look? I just don't know. It's choking me. I don't know how to get out of this. Oh no. Kyle, I need help. What have you done? It was one, two, three, go. They made me do this. What has happened? Ooh, it's time to get dresses to go out. What to wear, what to wear. I totally forgot I had these cut off shorts from last summer. Super cute. Yep, we found a winner. Yep, they totally fit. Wait, oh man, my entire butt is hanging out. These are a lot shorter than I remember. Try this. Squeeze some glue along the backside of the edge of the shorts. Seems simple enough. I actually own a pair of shorts like this that are just a little bit too short. So I'm wondering right now how they're gonna fix this with some glue. Snag some scraps of your favorite fabric, lace is a great choice, and press it firmly on the glue. Okay. Oops, don't forget to wrap it around the front the same way. Glue, then press. Seems simple, like I can do this, right? That doesn't look even at all. Is this gonna look good when she tries them on? Oh, they look okay, actually. Who knew a pair of old shorts could look so cute? Congrats, you avoided an embarrassing booty slip. Well done. Well, I want to avoid an embarrassing booty slip, so I'm gonna go and try this out at home and see how I do. Okay, so here are the shorts that we're going to be repairing, and on the edges they're super frayed as well, so I'm hoping that this hack might save them. So I have my lace and I have my glue. I just have to decide where it goes. I'm thinking like, here? This is already looking cute and it's not even glued down. Oh god, how am I gonna do this? This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. All right, so I'm gonna apply a little bit of glue here. I'm worried I'm gonna ruin these shorts, but it's fine. Okay, now let's glue down the lace. There we go. This might end up super tragic but it's worth a shot. Put some glue over there too. Maybe I should put some glue on this side too. <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I so bad at this? Right, that's one side done. Now I've got to do the other side. You know what? This lace is super cute. Okay, so I've got to get it out and cut it to size again. Extremely flammable liquid. Hmm, that's fine. This is probably as good as it's gonna get. I missed calculated the lace on this side. I'm going to have to snip some off. I can save this. There we have it. It looks ridiculous, but I think that's the best it's gonna get. 
All right, well, this is the shorts done as best as I could. My hands are covered in glue now. That was actually way more work than I thought it was going to be, and I kind of messed up, and my hands are covered in glue. So I'm just gonna leave those on the side to dry, and then I'm gonna try them on and hope that they look okay. Now it's time to try them on and see if they look okay. Bear with me while I change off camera. I don't know, kind of liking them. What do you guys think? Has it covered up my booty? I don't mind these. Will I wear them in public? Probably not. Was it an okay hack? Yes. Ah, uh, the old coffee dribble on the white shirt situation. Yikes. How did she manage to spit the coffee out like that? She wasn't even trying to drink it. She was just like, oh no, it's, it's all over my shirt. What am I gonna do? Take a marker or pen and outline the stains. Seriously, stick with us here. Okay. Your clumsiness just turned into a fantasy coffee island. Pretty impressive. Coffee island, are you serious? I just, I don't get this one. It looks worse now than it did with the stains. Is it just me or is this way cuter than the plain white t-shirt was before? No, it looks like you spilled coffee and then someone's drawn around it. That is not a good look. And now we have one of the weirdest hacks, the coffee spill on the shirt hack. So I have some coffee in here. It's cold. I'm gonna spit it on myself. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh. I'm really not looking forward to this. It's literally just cold water and coffee. I, I can't call these islands, honestly. So I'm just gonna make some islands of my own. Maybe one here. Yeah, this is looking so good. Love that. What have I done to a perfectly good white shirt? Kyle. I need your help. I had an accident. Right, okay. Oh. oh no. Oh no, what have I done? I have spilt coffee accidentally down myself and now I need your help to make this into a beautiful design so all of my work colleagues will love me again. Okay. I have a Sharpie. You must draw around these and make them into islands. What? I don't know. One, two, three, go, said so. Do I just, just draw, draw around, around these outlines around, around. and make them look like islands? Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, but maybe try to get around the brown a bit more. Oh god, oh god. Okay, she's, she's big. She's a, she's a really long island. She's oh god, oh wow. Goes... Oh, maybe you don't have to go so far down. Okay, okay, we'll change. Oh, there's one there, there's one there. Oh, okay, okay. You have to get that one. Okay. This is a map of the world. Oh, is that what it is? And go now, <laughs> now you have to write on it somewhere. Probably like here. Yes. Coffee Island. There we go. Is that even how you spell coffee? Well, it's fine because at the end of the day, I don't think I'm ever going to wear this again. This hack was a little bit of a disaster. Anyway, guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy my attempt at these crafts. If you did, do make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you would like to watch another video, click here and let's go watch it together.